Hello, I'm Desmond Zammett, the proud principal of Gorakin Public School. The focus of today's school orientation session is literacy learning. This critical and arguably most important area of study is achieved well when parents are aware of the important areas on which to focus their attention in supporting their children. Today, who better to lead this session than Kath Berenger, our talented instructional leader and resident literacy expert. Welcome, Kath. Thanks, Jez. I'll be covering four areas of simple but practical and important things that you can do at home with your child to set them up for success in their literacy learning during their kindergarten year. At the beginning of each kinder year, every child comes to school with a different set of literacy skills, experiences and backgrounds. In this session, I'd like to discuss four powerful things you can do with your child to set them up for success in terms of their literacy learning at school. So the number one powerful thing you can do with your child is just to get them to talk, 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 as well as to teach them when and how to listen. We have all been in a place where our kids have gone on and on and on about a story and we as their parents have to listen and show interest. This meme shows the scenario so well and there are times where we have to act like we are interested. Having said this, giving your child that opportunity to talk and experiment with words is possibly one of the most important practices you can do at home with them as it will powerfully help with your child's success at school. With the increased use of technology, we are finding that overall, children are coming to school with less words in their vocab than even five years ago. However, this can definitely be increased by being aware as parents of the importance of talking with your child. It is so important to hold conversations with your child so that they learn the art of serve and return. So serve and return is a, is a term used by speech therapists that describe the process of how to have a conversation. Many children need to know how to listen and respond appropriately in order to socialise, respond in the classroom, listen and hold a conversation. This serve and return sequence is vital for the healthy development of your child's brain development. So some activities that will help your child develop their speaking and listening skills include playing board games or card games, joining in with their imaginary games and listening to them, reading stories to them and then discussing the story will also help them to develop some comprehension skills, listening skills and phonemic awareness skills as well as to get used to how to interact with a story similar to the way a teacher reads to them at school. These activities can be very powerful and effective and will give your child a head start on their learning from the very beginning of kindergarten. The second most important thing you can do is to read with your children. If you read to them, let your child see you reading as well. This will help your child to develop a love of reading and see it as an enjoyable, useful and absolutely necessary skill. The more you read to and with them, the greater opportunity for them to develop good comprehension skills, listening skills and also to develop their phonemic awareness skills. So the third very powerful thing you can do to set your child up for success in reading is to develop what we call phonemic awareness skills. These skills are all about your child's ability to hear rather than look when reading a book. For example, your child needs to be able to hear individual words that make up a sentence. They need to hear that words are made up of syllables and they need to be able to hear the first and last sounds in words. So some activities to help them develop these phonemic awareness skills would be things like identifying environmental sounds, for example, bird singing, car noises, rain, thunder, as well as singing with them, exposing them to music, playing games like I Spy With My Little Eye, asking them to close their eyes and listen to all the sounds that they can hear. A very powerful activity would be to sing nursery rhymes to them and with them in order for them to hear rhyming words. So when your child is introduced to how to learn to read, it's like a foreign language to them as learning another language is to us. 
For example, when looking at a book like this one on the screen, your child would see it like it was written in a different language as they don't have the skills yet to read the words and letters. But if your child is taught to look at the picture first and talk about the picture, it would help them problem solve the meaning of the story. For example, the teacher would prompt this book with the big picture message of this book is about a little girl called Sally who needs new shoes. This enables the child to have some knowledge about the meaning of the story and how to use the pictures to help them get meaning in order to read the book. At school, your child will participate in activities that include listening to the teacher reading aloud. They will be given opportunities to talk about the story and discuss words, letters and sounds. So learning to read at school is an integrated approach that includes the teacher models reading strategies to the whole class, the children are grouped in small groups and given explicit instruction by the teacher at their own ability level, and now all students will be given daily opportunities to read for enjoyment and choose books they are interested in. Now apart from talking, listening and reading with your child, the fourth most powerful thing you can do to prepare your child for school is to give them time and encouragement to draw. Drawing is the first type of writing as it represents a message or a thought or expression and it is totally created by the child. So getting a child to draw and explain their drawings is a powerful introduction to their understanding of how to write. At school there is a lot of draw, talk, write and your child will be doing this every day in kindergarten. The research shows that this is the best way to set your child up for success in their writing ability. Because writing is a complex skill and it can be made easier for your child if they are provided with many opportunities before school to draw, hold a pencil correctly, um, give them opportunities to practice writing their name and even to know what the letters are called that make up their name. So to conclude, the four most powerful things you can do with your child to set them up for success and to prepare them for their literacy learning at school are lots of talking and conversations, lots of books and reading time, playing games like I Spy with My Little Eye and rhyming games, and lastly, provide your child with lots of opportunities to draw. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that your awareness of the important areas on which to focus your attention in supporting your child's literacy development has been raised and that the following key messages have been received. So those key messages are talking and listening regularly with your child, reading with and to your child, playing little games like I spy with my little eye just so that your child can hear the first sounds in words and to provide opportunities for them to draw. We hope that you've found this presentation useful and we look forward to sharing our next transition video with you. Together, we can make a difference.